this morning in family time, we are getting ready for the Easter Bunny's arrival with a fun activity that the little ones are sure to love. Here to show us how to dye Easter eggs naturally is Lindsay Galveo, co-founder of Providence Moms Blog. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me this morning. Thanks for being here. You're a mom of how many? I have two daughters. They're two years old and six years old. So They're uh, the prime age then for an activity like this. Exactly. And what's so wonderful about it is it's so easy for them to do it. Uh, the toddler has plenty that she can do. My six-year-old has plenty that she can do. Um, and it's all a decent process. Mm -hmm. It takes several different steps. So there's a lot of fun along the way. And I, and I know lately a lot of people are looking for natural ways of really doing anything, cleaning, dyeing Easter eggs. Take us through the, the steps of what we need uh, in order to dye eggs naturally at home. Perfect. So what's really great about dyeing your own natural Easter eggs is a lot of this stuff is things that you can find in your own kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, so what I used were different vegetables. Oftentimes we cook with these vegetables and different spices. We have them um, as well in our house. Uh, and it's also very similar to the way that we look at making Easter egg dyes because you still use vinegar mm -hmm. uh, to make your dye. So there's different ways that you can do it. Um, Red onion and yellow onion are a great way to start to make your own dyes. And the really big secret about this is you just need the peels. You don't actually use the onion itself. You just take off the peels. And then you're going to boil it with water. Once it cools, you're going to add in your vinegar, and then you'll dye your eggs. So it's really not that complicated or that much harder. And I love that you're not letting anything go to waste, because then you can still use the onion in dinner or lunch or whatever you're preparing and make use of the peel, which I always throw away. Yeah, exactly. So you get to kind of save the annoying part that you never really use, and then mm -hmm. I can save this later for cooking. Um, if I know I'm not going to use it that day, I can submerge it in water and leave it in the refrigerator, and it will stay for almost an entire week. Um, oh, or as I'm, that. Yeah, <laughs> as I'm cooking, I I can just collect the onion peels and keep it that way. I just made eye contact with Will on the other side, and we were both kind of blown away by that fact of saving the onions. And so you, in addition to the onions, what else did you So I also bring? brought red cabbage, and red cabbage is a lot of fun because it actually dyes the eggs blue. And so I had my huh. children say, what color do you think the eggs are going to be dyed? And my daughter said purple. And I would have guessed that too. Yeah, so when we played around with the dye, it looks purple in the jar, but when I took it actually out, my kids were amazed that the eggs that we had made together came out blue. You can see oh, it right look at there. That. Yeah, so purple cabbage. Such a pretty color. Dyes your eggs blue. So we've got blue and then obviously purple and I'm assuming the onion is like a yellowish. Yeah, so orange. I can show you all the colors here. So um, um, here we have red onion. This okay. is the red cabbage. This is gonna be beet. This is the yellow onion, and this is the paprika, and this is turmeric. So the other thing you can do, in addition to vegetables, like, is yeah, you can like use you can use spices. Again, these are cooking spices that I have every day in my house. So what you can do is you can simmer two tablespoons of turmeric in four cups of water. Mm -hmm. And again, make sure with the spices that you simmer them because they will boil very rapidly. Yes. Um, or the paprika, which will give another lovely orange color. Um, and again, let your um, let your dyes cool. These are great in mason jars. They're so cheap too. So this is a inexpensive activity. But I noticed that some of these eggs they are beautifully done, and there's a lovely image on them. How do you achieve that? Really simple, really easy. And this is another great extension activity to do with your kids to decorate these eggs. Mm -hmm. um, if it wasn't so snowy outside, I would have taken the kids into the backyard and, you know, gathered leaves and clovers and flowers and whatnot mm -hmm. that we can find. Um, but this year I cheated a little bit and I went to our local florist and had the kids pick out um, different flowers that they really liked there, or uh, different leaves rather that they really liked there. So all you do is you take your leaf, you're going to stick it to the outside of your egg. Okay, and you hard boiled these already? These are all hard boiled already. Stick that there. The good news with large, uh, if you have older kids, is you can blow the Easter eggs, which, um, you know, you don't have to worry about hard boiling them, but for mm -hmm. little kids, you really should do that. Yes. So then you're going to take a knee high. So. Which we found from Brendan's closet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He doesn't wear these. <laughs> and then you're just going to wrap your egg in the nylon. Okay, wrap up, make sure that that leaf stays in place. Exactly, you want to pull it really tight, and then you're going to take a twist tie. Really simple. If you have elastics, they work as well. They're just a little harder to manipulate around the egg. Okay. And then you're just going to cut. This is so interesting. Cut your knee high. You can even save this for two or three other eggs. And then you're going to dip it in whichever color that you want. Huh. So what would you like? Here I have um, yellow onion, I have turmeric, I have paprika, red onion, beet, Ooh. 
and I'm gonna go, red cabbage. I'm going to go beet. Beets are really beautiful. In the beet jar. But if you want, I do have a beet in there already that we can check out and see how it's looked. Yeah, let's take a look. And the other great thing about this is, oh, whoop, whoa there. The other great thing about this is that um, you can leave the eggs in for different amounts of time to see how the color changes. Yes. So you can test it after an hour. What does it look like? After two hours, what mm -hmm. does it look like? How does it change overnight? So yeah, you can just drop it right I'm in. I'm gonna drop my egg in our little beet dye here, cap it up, and in a little while, it will be dyed with a beautiful imprint of that leaf. So you can try these with your family at home, Lindsay. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. It's okay, we got a little mess going on, but that's part of and the that's fun. that's part of parenthood, right? Yeah, very true, and plus it's easy cleanup. And on our website, we have a full tutorial with a link to printable of extension activities at providencemomsblog.com. So awesome. you can check it out today. There you go, and you, great tips to get us decorating the eggs for our Easter celebrations.